Hello everyone. I am Dr. Tejashri and welcome to today's episode of Women's Wellness Days. Today I am going to talk about the tests which need to be done if you are suffering from recurrent miscarriages. 80 to 90 percent causes of miscarriage are related to the embryo and genetic abnormalities in it. So, tests which you need to do to find out if you are making normal embryos are first AMH or anti-mullerian hormone, second sperm DNA fragmentation index or SDF, third karyotyping by G banding of the husband and wife to look for chromosomal anomalies. Now coming to test number 4 and 5, they are mainly related to find out about your uterus because uterine problems is the second most common reason for miscarriages. A mid-cycle ultrasound comes at number 4 to be done on the 11th or the 12th day of the period to look for any problems inside the uterine cavity like polyps, fibroids or septum. However, ultrasound has sensitivity of only 87% and can miss abnormalities in 13% cases. So, number 5, the best thing to do is a hysteroscopy or a diagnostic evaluation of the inside part of the uterine cavity and taking samples from the uterine lining to find out if there is any inflammation, infection or any hyperplasia in the lining which could be the cause for the miscarriage. Number three reason for miscarriage could be related to your body as in thick blood or immune factors. So number six test is thrombophilia profile or the test to rule out thick blood. This is a blood test and it consists of two types of tests, inherited and acquired. Number seven test is also a blood test and it's related to immune system to check for the natural killer cells, the cytokine profile and the total oxidative stress. Apart from this, number 8 is a general health medical disorder workup to find out that you are not suffering from any conditions like diabetes, hypothyroidism or anything where your kidney or liver function is affected or you may be having any deficiencies like zinc, magnesium, iron, vitamin B12 or vitamin D. These are the tests for the nutritional factors. So this completes the list. Please do not suffer in silence. If you are suffering from miscarriage, please meet me so that I can guide you how to do these tests, how to interpret them and how to prevent your next miscarriage. Good luck.